And this, I mean, term aggressiveness is always a bit of a, a subjective one. So actually, this is a little bit better than their description because it's more operationalized in terms of saying what it means. And it's, you know, partly what you're looking at in the main is the number of clean blows that's landed, Muay Thai techniques that are landed with accuracy and power. And that doesn't matter whether you're moving backwards, sideways, or against the ropes. In other words, you haven't got to be moving forwards to win. You can win moving backwards um, as long as you score it effectively. You don't have to do this walk forwards. It's not, not necessarily the deciding factor. Ring generalship, so controlling the action. Again, quite subjective. This is probably less subjective. And then last is just what we might call aggressiveness, is just trying to force the action, is a, is a more minor aspect of the fight. Um, so what we've got really there from the 70% thing is two things really. One, that you're trying to, that you've, you're landing accurately, and so there's different targets actually that tended to be favoured, we'll look in a minute, but also then effect. And that can be, the effect can be two real things. One, that you disturb the opponent's physical balance, physically moving, that they can't perform properly because they're not on balance. Or psychologically, in other words, they show pain or fear, they turn away or they, they show them the heat. And they're, they're things that um, the judges will look for. They don't feel the techniques, but they can they try and assess by a series of cues. Now, it's important, therefore, to not to do these things if you're trying not to get scored on. So you, you try not to show pain, try not to show you're so tired you can't keep position. You, you're actually, it doesn't matter being tired, everybody's tired, it's just that what you show in the ring, it isn't good if you are going to be showing it to your judges, or you're showing you pain, frightened or you're showing you pain. You need to make sure that you show you're strong, not, not losing position easy, not showing you frightened. They're quite key things. So they're making a judgment of various things like, for example, techniques that are easily seen generally score well, so a clean kick to the body, clean knee to the body, punch an elbow that causes the opponent to move or show pain. They're clear scoring techniques. We'll have a look at some of the other things that tend to be not as clear cut, maybe, but uh, that, that, are, that are in the spirit of the sport, but maybe not necessarily a specific technique that moves a fighter. So you've got a, a range of things really. You've got the quality of techniques, so that they cause visual effect, they cause the opponent to faint, that you, know, you might um, clean your kick somewhere. And you also, um, there's a trade-off between that and effect. So sometimes, clean eating the targets on the body is a good score even if you don't move the fighter. So it's not always about did you move the fighter in. And it's not always did you move the fighter in, maybe the fighter's off balance. And this is really important for you as a fighter because where you focus when you deliver a technique, it becomes important if actually, if you're kicked and you're actually off balance and you move, it's a bigger score. So landing on balance becomes really key. And one of the differences that between the ties at the time I looked at and the UK lands was not particularly balance before delivery, that was okay. Because Balance after delivery, they were much less balanced. In other words, they fell back a little bit or they weren't so controlled as they fell back. And if then they were hit, they were moved quite a bit, even if there was no carry in the shot, or relatively not. Whereas if they're really solid position, it's much more difficult to move. So balancing between techniques becomes really important in not getting scored upon, just as much as not showing fighting or, or any pain when you do it. Um, there's different styles of fighters, just to illustrate two different style of fighters. These are two very famous fighters, old, older fighters now, but one's moving backwards and winning, and one's moving forwards and winning. So red boxer in both. Um, Virapal first, so we'll have a look against uh, Sukhothai Taximeter from uh, Sissi Bagajim. Sissi Bagajim at the time. So we've got the, the, the boxer moving backwards, who's also, also WBC boxing champion. Um, is the boxer in control? Now he's, he's, he's Position strong, he's moving backwards the whole fight. You could even argue potentially that Sukhata is even busier, but he's not winning. He, he loses the fight and he's off balance and the fight's controlled. So not only is he scoring well, but he's also controlling the action. He's actually controlling the fight, boxing the red shorts for a pop. And he's, 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 uh, when he hits, he's causing effect and he's keeping balance and he's moving back and he's not, he's not losing position when he's getting hit, or at least mostly he's not losing position. Um, and it's a global thing, it's a holistic picture rather than an individual shot. So he's controlling, he's controlling the fight. Now we've got an attacking boxer here. This is Sancho Narapai, again in the red shorts. He's moving forward, again at the time, former boxer of the year, a long time ago. He's probably about getting on to 50 now. 
same tune. But um, this time you notice uh, he's, I mean, there he's just sort of getting kicked. But you notice in a minute when, it, when his opponent's moving back, he gets kicked, he's moving, he's not moving back in position. When he's kicked, he's actually losing position. It's sometimes he's managing to block. But often when, when, like there, he's actually not in a solid position, he's not moving back in the stance and able to keep there even more so, bigger effect. So, this, so, in fact, this time the box is coming forward, but he's actually causing much more effect. The box is going backwards, not able to maintain position, and so losing. So, it's not always that, so on the, as it was on that slide, it's not always whether you come forward or backwards, but controlling position and balance <coughs> is important. And obviously, not, neither of these, these are all professionals, they're not showing the hurt, even if they are, they're not showing the frightened. Their balance on delivery, the ties were far better at. There's, there's still quite a bit balance on delivery by the UK lads. But a balance after delivery is where a lot of the times the UK lads are much less the ties are off balance. And these were the winners of the fights. So this was, I only took the winners of those fights. So it would be the ones who win. So, in a sense, this again, just to say footwork's very important. Just a little example of this, this again, a, while, a long time ago. Um, Pintin Chai Camp, this is Thailand Pintin Chai and Burger, Pintin Chai, Jim Old, good friend really, Thailand. Um, these are just showing that balance is important, yeah, balance, position is important. It doesn't mean you can't move quickly, but it's position is important. Now, the, besides these actual, you know, does the shot hit, there are other things that the judges look for to see who's the stronger boxer. And so things like if a boxer can't get thrown down when the leg's caught, one, the leg, leg, leg kick lands, so that's scored. They catch over and they can't kick their opponent down. It means they're not as strong as the opponent in the judges' eyes in that exchange. So the one thing that used to happen in, in with Dutch fighters a long time ago, I just watched, actually showed some fights between some very good fighters, very good Dutch fighters and some legendary Thai fighters at the time. The difference between the fighters often is when they got the leg caught, the Dutch fighters are really almost deliberately dropping on the floor not to get hit. And that's actually a foul. You try and stand up and you try and, you try and, if you can, stay and stay strong and show that you're not giving up and going dropping on the floor and sort of turning your back. Yeah. So if you catch someone's kick but you do something other than try and sweep their leg, like hit them in the face? You've got to score them. So if you're just not doing anything, yeah. it's not really, you know, in other words, you've got to be doing something better than that single kick to the body. Yeah, so the, the, ca the catch itself doesn't get... The catch itself doesn't get scored. So do what you do afterwards does, you know, what you do afterwards does really. Um, so getting your head pulled down, for example, is another, another example of, you know, if you're in the fight and you're getting your head pulled down, you can't stop it. That, that's already concerning the fight. You can't defend against that. You can't, you're not strong enough to defend against it. And there are many techniques to stop getting your head pulled down. And you, a boxer who gets so tired, they can no longer keep position. So the famous fight, really, between um, Samar Pak, who was a brilliant boxer, and... Um, I don't think he's a bloody fought down in training a long time after uh, one channel we they fought and one channel and some aren't was winning quite clearly to start with but then whether he gassed because he cut weight I don't know he gassed and he was really getting moved and so the fight swung completely round within a couple of rounds where Sancho uh, some art was quite far ahead and switched round because he was just losing position and that throws the fight away in essence if you can't it's not necessarily being tired physically, but it's been showing you tired by not being able to keep position in a sense. These are some clips, oops, some clips of demonstrations of, just some clips I've put together, not necessarily the only things, but just some examples to sort of show you what they might be. Let's start again. So this is an example of not, not going down when you caught. So it's like, it's where, it's, it's Thailand Pinsy Tribes on the final, being tight actually. And he, he's, his, boxer, his opponent can't kick him over. And he can't do anything that's, in other words, he's, he's showing that dominant that he can't, he's not going over. He's showing he's dominant in that exchange. So it's not necessarily, you know, he's, he's had to sort of, okay, I'm not going to carry on. Turning the back, not unable to defend yourself. So this again was a, to Japanese and a, a South African boxer. Getting knee, the referee's moving in and breaking afterwards. But he's, he's got turn and he's clearly getting knee on the back. Quite clearly, and he's showing that um, 
he can't defend himself really. He's just sort of not necessarily deliberately giving his back, but he's you know he's, he's not uh, losing position. The well hunger on. So he's lost lost position. The kick. So he's kicking. He put, throws a punch off balancing, which is fine. Sort of manages to block and not lose position. Punches off balances him, and then finishes with a kick, which off balances him even more. So that's a good good score. And um, Dean Jones, lad from Morgan, uh, knocking quite an Italian lad recently. But again, the Italian lad's losing position. He's not able to maintain his position. Again, another lad, uh, actually, from Morgan. So we've got quite a few clips of lads from Morgan. So, again, in, in a sense, is the lad in the pink shorts is not able to, in the end, Maintain position. <coughs> he's, he's moving. So he's getting moved on the. He's getting moved on the. Uh, well, he's getting moved. And this is Liam Harrison moving his opponent with a body kick again. So this is a case of boxers. Demonstrating strong. You know, sometimes you. you, have, you know, as a judge, you have to look at these things. Often you don't see them if you're not used to looking at them until they're in slow motion. But they, they, they. Uh, and again, this is punches where. Jordan's getting knocked back. Jordan's getting knocked back with punches. Um, and obviously they've got to land, but they are landing and he's getting moved. You know, so he's losing position. Again, this is getting thrown by showing... Again, he can't stop... He can't stop being thrown. He can't stop... Um, he can't control his position enough. So he's getting thrown. Just some examples of techniques. This is a young Anawak hitting what you child with a right cross a long time ago demonstration. So he's moving the boxer with a punch. So the boxer moves his opponent with a clean shot. <coughs> so you've got, I think this is a late, maybe late 90s, just demonstrating scoring. So he's moving, he's moving his opponent. Not really moving your opponent, no effect, no real score. Unless, of course, you're obviously judging, if that's all you're doing, then, then that's going to be the case. This is a, a punch score, so it's Andy Thrasher demonstrating on Dean James, and he's obviously simulating it, but he's getting affected by the, by the shot. He's getting moved back by the shot. So it's, like, it's only actually a, it's obviously a bit of an act, and it's not quite as good as a real, um, real strong score. Round kick to the body, this time obviously he doesn't have to move the fighter, so he can kick and just land on target. <laughs> That's what we are, even though it doesn't look hard, that's the thing, the body kicks do something. Um, so it's body kick, cleaning on target, good score. An um, example here, we've got the blue boxer scoring, good, good score with the body kick, just to explain a good score with that. So it's a clean score, the boxer even moved this way, so it's a clean score. If he steps, it's not the same as if you get moved. If you step and take a shot. So Tony, I don't know if you're what about kicking your arms? Kicking arm scores so, there. It's not as clean as it, it's not as good a score as there, but if you move them, it's the same as getting not moved there. So if a boxer kicks your arms here and you moved, it's really the same as the same as getting blocking as well. The, say again? That's even more blocking as well. And so um, it's not what you don't want to do, it's what the arm. It depends where you're blocking. If you're in other words, if you it depends this is where you where you hold your guard is quite important. Because if you I mean sometimes it's better to get kicked on the arm, you know, you might want to get kicked on the arm to kick your opponent back. Your opponent's very fast, you can't block and they're not particularly that strong kicking, you might want to take it on your arm to kick them and move them, because if you don't move, and they do, you're winning. So it's not always, you know, it's not always as clear cut as you want, but if you block where your, your arm's not on your body, no score, on your body, score. So it's here, it's no score, strong position, no score. Yeah. So in other words, where, I mean, I used to, put, I used to box, so we, you know, we took the arms in, but in Muay Thai, that's not so great because you can get scored on. I mean, it's better than getting kicked, yeah. but it's not still as great as not, you know, being able to block and not, you know, not getting kicked. So keeping a position and blocking without allowing your arm to move is, is a way not to get scored upon. So you can get scored upon getting kicked on your arms and moved, particularly moved. So it's about not losing position when you, when you get kicked on your arms, really. This is then, uh, this is a round kick to the body scoring against the kick-punch combination. Again, it's only active. But the, the kicking and punching, 
might look busier, but does nothing. And the score on the body hits. So they're doing no, there's no effect. It might look busy, they're not even hitting the target. The only target they hit is a low kick with no effect. So where a judge has got to look for what's affected, this is not, and I'll play that again because it's, so it's like a round kick to bodies, but it's gone, this is acting, so it's not so great, I know. But you watch, Dean's hitting, punches, low kick, the body scores in that. The fact is he's full techniques, it's relevant to many techniques, you can use the effect techniques. There's some people looking for those ones. No, sorry. No, 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 that's okay. So if he actually moved him with that combination, then it was... If he hit the target and moved him, it would be a completely different thing. But he didn't, so that's what the judges are looking for. No, if he moved him, if he, he kicked him and he moved his, his leg, the leg kick, maybe different. This is a leg kick score, for example, again, another recent fight. Um, this is... Uh, this is... This is losing his position. He lost his position. If he relaxed and kept his position, no problem, he lost... He lost, his, he lost control of himself. Um, you can see he lo he's actually lost control of himself. He's not controlling it, riding it, which is a bit like moving with a kick, moving with a kick. He's actually caused to, uh, to move. So, yeah, example, just, just another example. Yeah. So even though he sort of checked it because he came down... Yeah, because he's not. He didn't, he didn't cleanly block it. I mean, if he'd have blocked it, no, no movement. Even if you'd have ridden it to kick back, it's not scored. You did this. It's, moved. it's the same as if I get kicked and I'm getting moved like this, it's completely different than if I'm stepping to control the kick. One's little, one's big score, one's not really much of a score. So, because the one you're controlling your position, you're able to control your, yourself and your opponent, not if you're getting kicked. So, it's, it, that, that's quite important in the. Sorry, there's questions. So, yeah. For example, if I'm to try and say just say three body kicks. Yeah. It depends if you if you're clean on targets. The judges make an assessment of that. I mean, it's, if if you depend on the effect that you've got, it's not in a sense because they're not clicking. It will be more things than just that particular action that take, takes place. So, if otherwise, say you hit with three body kicks and they move you with one, but then they can't touch you and you can block very solid afterwards, then that you know that wouldn't make it. It's always in the context of everything else, really, rather than it's not the buttons. You know, it's like the Dutch, I mean, I had to judge once for the, for the, uh, from Holland, and it's 10 9, but they look at clickers and then look at them and rise them down. I just really couldn't get hang of it. You know, a lot, I mean, because I was always tuned into looking for effect, and they were look, looking at how many shots hit and then looking for a 10 9 score. It was difficult for me to do that, so imagine if you're used to that, it's difficult to do the other thing as well. But, um, it does change quite dramatically what, uh, what you do. So this is a knee. Now the knee scores uh, well, straight knee actually better, really, but a uh, stronger knee. I mean, it's, it's a bit of an exaggeration to say just a straight knee. Stronger knee scores better. <coughs> generally straight knees are stronger, but it, obviously the judge looks at the holistic thing, they look at whether they are actually stronger, look at the position, it's taken in a holistic way, not just a, a not way. But so, front kick again, causing the boxer to, to lose position. Uh, T causing the box to lose position. Catching, this is a catching, but this time he's not just doing one thing, and it's just to show as well, of course, you can actually keep moving forward. So he's attacking with knees, and so if you catch, it's better off kick him on the floor or attack him with not just one punch, or make sure that you are, you are actually doing something more than that done to you, which is kick your body, which is a clean kick. Because if you do this, definitely kick your body cleanly. Um, elbows, not, I mean, Muay Thai weapon, you, you need, well, fairly, but not particularly necessarily a special weapon unless it shows effect and that's either moves them or cuts them. Um, 